Hello guys, this is Jay and today we are going to check out the Netgear Bathtub. Are you worried about it? Are you worried about it? Is there any internet things that you can do? Okay, don't worry. I will show you how to connect or how to set up this computer or this stuff or the computer or not. Uh, now we have a one knife, so we can do any, we can use anything for this open this uh, box. So okay, let's get it out. Mm, so I never used it before. So um, use these things. I mean, uh, if you uh, know about if you feel about uh, about this router, you can just text blow about this. Uh, I mean, blow the command command box like anything. Okay, this the box. Okay, look. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow. Well. This is just a normal, you know, place. Maybe, oh, this is the router. Yeah. Well, so we got one uh, cat pipe. Uh, this is okay. So one with an I don't know. Oh, this is uh, one uh, 5 voltage uh, adapter for the router. Uh, so where is the router? The NetGear N150 router. It's a model like, quite fantastic. So, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think so. Single and two And uh, this is the manual guiding book. So I think we don't need this one. Okay. So we are come up to the computer, and this is my PC. And now I'm gonna connect this. Uh, my computer and uh, here is my RG45 this comes from the ISP and now I'm putting into the WAN connections you know that the blue marker this is the WAN port okay and maybe it's, uh, it would be a uh, black but uh, Netgear 150 N950 uh, N150 is a uh, blue mark and here is the second cat 5 which we got from this box so we just uh, plug in port 1 and then we go to my piano uh, we are going to the PC. There's the back side. Yeah, it's the back side of the back port. Now it's a connected on PC. Okay. So we are okay there's just uh, one missing point. Which one is uh this plug in your I have charged the router. Okay. And, uh, Hmm, just normal, you know that? Nothing is so useful, don't about, worry about it. Okay. Can you see this? This is uh, the ISP Cat5 and this is the 1 meter Cat5 which we got from the router box. And then we just plug in this adapter to the back side of the router. And that's all, and nothing else, okay? So now it's a power on. Okay, you can see that the power on. One, two, three is nothing so much blinking. Okay, so let's go to your PC. Okay. Okay, now we are in computer. So just you can see the LAN. It's a unidentified. Now we are going to the run program. It's a manually I'm using this run program. Okay, now just the blank bar just ncpa.cpl and click ok or enter then you can see the adapter i mean lan adapter setting just to go ahead and you know, right click and go property substance and you can see uh, ipv4 double click on it so actually this is not an ip address we don't want to share our ip address so that's why it's actually i'm using so just the both options click opt in it will automatically remove that click ok Okay, just and now uh, just okay, it's done. Let's close this window right now. Okay, so can you see this LAN option again? It's uh, running, it's processing something. Okay, just uh, let me see it again. It's still identifying. Okay, don't worry about it. Just click your browser, Firefox, Chrome, which I'm using right now, and type the NetGear. Uh, web address uh, router login.net and hit the enter and it 
YouTube will automatically give you one pop up. If the username would be admin and password would be password. So in a small letter. Okay. Then you can see a lot of options. I mean, uh, it's taking time. Please wait a moment. Okay. So left side, you can see internet, wireless, and the active device. Uh, more options. So you don't need the last options. You just uh, go click on the internet option and you can see a uh, static IP option okay and the DNS option so that's it just click your IP and type your IP on uh, the right side so that's it so let me type my IP address okay <laughs>